Okay, so if you have pretty good basic math skills, this should be a pretty easy problem for you to solve. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. A broken clock loses one minute every two hours. How many hours does it lose in a seven day week? Okay, so feel free to use a calculator. And a lot of you uh, might be saying, this is the easiest math problem I've seen in a long time. Well, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the right answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm gonna explain this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so hopefully most of you are out there saying, but come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, give me something more challenging than this. Well, let's just make sure uh, you got this problem right before we move on to more challenging problems. And here is the answer. So any one of these would be correct. 84 minutes or one hour and 24 minutes or 1.4 hours. Uh, so these are all equivalent. Now, if you put your answer in terms of seconds or days, well, I don't have those answers available, but pretty much 99.9% .9 of you that did this problem right would have one of these answers. And then if you have this answer, well, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of solving basic math problems. Now, unfortunately, your, your family's probably not going to be that impressed. They might say to some, yeah, well, you know, basic math, that's no you know, big deal. Come back and, uh, you know, brag about your accomplishments when you do some calculus or algebra or whatnot. But anyways, listen, if you didn't get this right, you know, don't despair because my YouTube channel is all about being positive when it comes to math and making errors and getting things wrong in math is just part of the learning process. Okay, so you should never feel bad. Uh, if you didn't get something uh, right. Uh, but let's go ahead and make this uh, problem crystal clear to understand. And we're going to go ahead and get started right now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is say, hey, look, we have a math word problem and you need to consider the rule of three. Okay, now what is the rule of three? Well, that means you want to read the problem at least three times. Now I made this rule up, but it is a good rule. Okay, in other words, don't do anything. Don't start writing stuff down or start punching numbers into your calculator until you read the problem at least three times. So you have to kind of be disciplined about this because if, you know we get so excited. It's a good rule to follow because once you read the problem more than once, you're gonna really kind of think about it, make sure you, you, know, you really get all the information and be clear about what the question is asking. So we have this broken clock, unfortunately, and it loses one minute uh, every two hours. Okay, so we're thinking, all right, well, got this clock, it's broken, you got some information about the clock. How many hours does it lose in a seven day week? So we're gonna have to put this together in some sort of um, you know, model, if you will. Uh, now, some of you can see the solution right off the bat, and that's fantastic, you know. Uh, others of you could just do this in your head, and that's great as well. But let's suppose, okay, for those of you that are math superheroes, let's suppose your younger brother or sister or somebody, you know, was like, hey, I don't understand this problem. Can you teach me how to do it? Well, a kind of a, a good way to um, see if you truly understand something is if you could teach it to someone else. So how would you tutor someone in this problem, in the solution to this problem, just because you understand it? Well, you're kind of, you're gonna wanna break it down in nice, simple components. So that, let's go ahead and see if we can do that now by modeling the problem, okay? You wanna kind of visualize the problem. And this is where you can get uh, creative in all different sorts of ways. Okay, so here we have a lovely uh, clock and of course it's broken, but let's just write some things down we know about a clock. Well, the first thing is that, hey, we're talking about a day here. We know that there's 24 hours in one day, so we'll put that off to the side. And here is my lovely clock. And the information in the prom says that it uh, loses one minute every two hours. Okay, so for every two hours, it's gonna lose one minute. And there's all sorts of two hour intervals 
you know, between three and five, that's one minute from uh, one and three, that's another minute. So every two hours, it's going to lose one minute. So we're thinking, all right, and we know we need to first calculate uh, how much it's going to lose in one day before we can figure out how much it's going to lose in one week. So how can we do that? Well, again, different approaches, but imagine if you were trying to teach this to someone, okay, how could you, you know, tutor this information? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, think about it this way. Now, this is the way I'm thinking about it, okay? If you, uh, for example, were in my math class and you turned in your work and I had uh, 20 different students and they uh, kind of, you know, um, gave me 20 different unique uh, creative solutions, but all being correct, that is fantastic, okay? So don't feel like, wow, I didn't do it uh, your way, but I got it right. Well, that is great. Okay, as long as it makes sense, it's structured, it's logical, and someone can understand uh, your, you know, conclusions, then that's what counts, okay? All right, so I know that's 24 hours in one day, and I'm thinking to myself, all right, uh, this uh, clock is losing one minute um, every two hours. Because, oh, okay, so two hours, I have 24 hours in one day, so I'm thinking to myself, there's 12 two-hour periods in 24 hours, because 12 times 2 is 24, okay? So if this clock is losing one minute every two hours, well, from two hours to 24 hours, I got to multiply that by 12. So one uh, to um, figure out how many minutes it's going. this clock is going to lose in one 24-hour period, I'm going to uh, multiply this one minute by 12 minutes, okay, or by 12. So it's going to lose 12 minutes every 24 hours. Now, that might not be the most crystal clear explanation. Some of you might be saying, eh, that's still confusing, Mr. YouTube Math Man. And I get that, right? So let's suppose uh, uh, we're like, well, let's let's see if we can understand this in a different way. So another approach you could take to kind of um, see if you can really grasp how many minutes this clock is uh, losing per day. And a lot of you are like, come on. Yeah, there is, you know, it's losing one minute every two hours. Just take 24, divide it by two, and there you go, and multiply by one. You know, most of us, you know, out there, or a good majority, hopefully, I think, uh, the people watching this video can easily see that this clock is going to lose 12 minutes in a 24-hour period. But you could, you know, uh, explain it in this way. You could set up a uh, kind of a proportion, okay? We could say, all right, for every, um, this clock, is going to lose one minute every uh, two hours. We're going to make a comparison here. We're going to use a uh, uh, um, a rate, okay, or rate or um, a uh, ratio, okay. So one minute uh, for every two hours. This is this is the rate, uh, and we're kind of comparing the same units of measure, but that's really not quite important. But basically, you just think of all right, we're losing one minute for every two hours. How many minutes are we going to lose in 24 hours? Okay, so we can set this up. And then we can use the cross product to figure this out. So in other words, 1 times 24 is 24. X times 2 is 2X. And then we can solve for X. So X is equal to 12 minutes. Okay. In other words, if a clock loses 1 minute for every 2 hours, it'll lose 12 minutes for every 24 hours. So we need that first. And now that we have the daily um, uh, rate that this clock is going to lose um, uh, minutes, then, you know, we're talking about a seven day week. This is going to be super easy. So let's go to take uh, the next step, which of course is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is super easy as well. Now I want to, I wouldn't interrupt this lovely uh, math video if it wasn't that important. Okay. My objective is to serve you with the most interesting, best math content I can think of. And by the way, on my YouTube channel, I have over 2000 plus videos. And, um, you know, this basically range from basic math to advanced math by calculus and everything in between. That's a massive amount of math content to cover. But I am so inspired and enthusiastic about mathematics that, you know, I'm doing these videos no matter what. But it really does help me uh, by you subscribing. OK, that little tiny act really tells that algorithm, hey, you know what, push that content out. And maybe other people that are interested in math or and especially need help in math could benefit from my content. Okay, I'm trying to pass on decades and decades of experience here to those people that need help in math because there's nothing worse than being frustrated with mathematics. Okay, I don't get it. I hate math. I want to quit. Please, please do not quit. Okay, that's my main message to those of you out there. You could be successful in math. And if anyone is telling you, uh, something different, 
then you need to find, especially if it's a teacher, okay? If you're having a teacher that's saying, you know what, I think you're pretty bad at math, I have to confirm that, uh, listen, you're gonna have to find another teacher, okay? But typical, you know, typically good teachers aren't gonna tell you that, okay? But if you yourself are telling, telling you that you're bad at math, you need to put in the work, but most importantly, you need a teacher that can teach you in a way you like and understand. I'd like to fill that role. But anyways, by you subscribing, it is a great way to support my channel. And make sure to subscribe as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, let's go ahead and finish up this super easy problem. So we have this lovely broken clock. It loses 12 minutes per day. Okay, we already figured that out. And now we want to figure out how much time it's going to lose over a, seven, a full seven-day week. Well, we know the daily rate, so we're just going to take that 12 minutes and multiply it by 7. So 7 times 12 is 84 minutes. And, of course, we can just leave our answer this way, or we can convert, we can subtract 60 minutes, which is 1 hour. And so 60 minus uh, 84 would be 24, so we could have 1 hour, 24 minutes, 84 minutes, or we could just take 84 and divide it by 60. We get the decimal 1.4 hours. So, um, you know, and the problem... It didn't specify, you know, uh, give me your, give me the answer in minutes or seconds or hours and whatnot. So, but you have to be careful in terms of questions because sometimes questions will ask for specific units of measure. All right. So hopefully, you know, um, most of you, you know, I think got this problem, right? This is pretty easy uh, math problem. And if you didn't, I certainly don't want to make you feel bad. But like, oh my goodness, I couldn't even get this basic math problem, right? Well, listen, it's just because you've been away from math for a while. Now, I'm excited to tell you that I just came out with a brand new math course at the time of this video. It's called my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Now, you'll find a link to it in the description of this video, and it's uh, designed for those of you that have been away from math for like years and decades and who want to kind of maybe brush up on your math skills or maybe, you know, learn math better than you did in your school days. And if you're interested in this course, I start off with basic arithmetic, you know, things that we're kind of doing here, and I teach you a ton of algebra and geometry and even some basic trigonometry. It's, an, it's a great overall course and has a lot of practical value as well. Anyways, you'll find a link to it in the description below. But uh, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.